Okay, well, you see how I'm dressed, but I still got Southwest Rod and Custom underneath, okay? Anyway, what I'm saying is winter time. Winter 2009, okay? It's been a whole year now, a little over a year since I've even been on YouTube, okay? And, uh, wow, we've done a lot over here. Seen a lot of stuff, done a lot of stuff, a lot of people come and go, blah, 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 blah. And I just want to thank you, the viewer, okay, and you guys know who I'm talking about, all the supporters of SWRNC out there, for uh, checking me out and uh, keeping my ratings up. Because you guys are the ones that are number one, not me. Okay, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. I would have gave up doing all this bullshit a long time ago. But uh, as long as I'm helping you out, that's all that counts, because that's what's helping me out. Try to make sense of that one. doing here today okay is we're gonna go ahead and pull the motor out now if you look real close Minnie's already taken all the suspension off and yes she does know how to do that she was joking around with you acting uh, batty I don't know why she was acting like that so she's got all the suspension off now what we're doing we're pulling the motor out and I've already uh, took all the bolts off I've already got it ready to go there's no sense watching me do all that and the only other thing I got to do is take a hammer and uh, I gotta take a hammer and cap the bolts out. So uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our hammer, our trusty hammer, okay? And we're gonna get the bolts out of the motor mounts, just like so. And the babies are in there tight. Let me get a chisel. Let's go ahead and uh, knock these out. So I problem with this side because you got the fuel pump right there in the way. Alright, so that wasn't as hard as we thought it was. Okay, so far so good. We've actually been working on this car for a while now. This is uh we've been actually on this car for this is going on our second week. And that just goes to show you it doesn't look like we've really done much to this car, but uh believe me, <laughs> we have. Okay. Really, 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 really starting to frustrate me that we've actually done so much fucking work to it. It makes me feel like I haven't done nothing to it because uh, it doesn't look like anything's been done. <laughs> but uh, believe me, right now I have butterflies in my stomach because I feel like I haven't done anything. Like uh, I've been working on this car for two weeks and it feels like I haven't done shit, you know? But. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I don't. You ever feel like that? Do you guys ever feel like that out there? Like you're working your ass off, but then you keep looking at it and you're watching the time go by, and you're saying, "Man, I can't get nothing done. Nothing's got done." Well, that's about how I feel right now. Have you ever felt like that? Well, believe me, bud, it sucks. So anyway, back to our uh, motor pulling here. Okay, we got the jack down in the back. Let's jack it up in the front. Get this thing out of here. Here we go. Okay, it's coming out. Now this is supposed to have a 700 R4 overdrive transmission. That's the best setup you could put in a street rod. A 350 Chevy engine with a 700 R4 overdrive. That's the most econom uh, economical, the best value for your money. It's a hard to beat uh, deal. And uh, gotta go up a little higher, so hang on a minute. Now all I'm doing is letting the front of the car go down a little bit so I can come straight out the motor. Just kind of lighten up and I'll put the stands back under the car. And I'm sure you all know how to take the motor out. I'm not really trying to show you how to take it out. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do, keep the ball rolling, instead of putting it on an ninja stand, what I'm gonna do is I got a little roll around cart here that I use, instead of using a ninja stand. Now what I got here is I got this roll around cart that I use, and it's basically a furniture dolly, is what it is. And when you have the transmission and the motor together, this, this is the cheapest, inexpensive, inexpensive way to cheat it. And when you do something like this, you want to make sure that the oil pan falls right in the center. Now there you go. You see that? All right, there you go. Now, I was telling you earlier that uh, I've been working on this for two weeks. It doesn't look like I've really done nothing, okay? But uh, we got stalled out on our actuators on our hood over here, you know, for the remote hood in the trunk. That was a big, major job. Just putting those in, we broke some actuators. I had to replace them. That was out of my pocket, not the owner's. Uh, and, I mean, you know, this goes to show you two weeks of labor on this car, and it looks like nothing has been done. Okay, that is a frustrating situation I mean it makes you feel like what the fuck's going on you know you can't believe that you're working two weeks on something and it just you know takes so long to do something like that I mean trying to figure out little stuff like on our hood for instance uh, I gotta lock the fenders down on the hood because the fenders if I don't lock them down when you're driving it they're gonna be flapping like this at the bottom so for a whole day, I'm laying up under the car trying to figure out what am I going to fucking do, you know? Well, I finally figured it out, and I don't want to tell you how I'm doing. I'll, I'll show you, okay, in another video. But uh, this is just an example of, uh, you know, you got to take your time. you got to do it right. And if you get frustrated, you know, don't let it fucking worry you like it does me, okay? Uh, Sometimes I get that feeling in my stomach like my stomach is churning and, you know, twisting because I come to work and I say, man, I can't believe it. It looks exactly the same as it did yesterday. But I know in my mind that I did do something. Hey, 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 what's up out there? You know, sometimes you get in the jam, you don't know what to do. And, uh, well, you know, uh, you just got to do what you got to do and you got to think it out. Sometimes it's just that way. And, uh, you know, maybe my friend Pete ought to relax and uh, take it easy. He's getting too jittery and, uh, well, that's just how it is out there. And, uh, you know, when uh, you got to do what you got to do, you got to do it. So, uh, it looks like Pete's in a little bit of a jam. My friend Pete, your friend Pete, everybody's friend. Looks like he needs to take a break. Let him think about it. Let him look it over. Let him think it over. Yeah, go to sleep tonight, my friend Pete. And uh, you'll probably have the answer tomorrow when you wake up. Because that's sometimes what you got to do. You just got to let it go and uh, come back to it later. Because if you can't do that, I don't know. Just do what you got to do, Pete. And uh, you'll figure it out. I got faith in you, my friend. I gotta go. I... See you later, Bob. Hey, take it from me. All right, I'm your guy. I'm your guy. I'm your guy. Yeah, okay. See you later, Bob. I gotta get out of this box. Get, the... get out of here. How the fuck do I get out of here? Okay. All right, we'll see you later, Bob.